busy these girls are. So I've finally uh, got all my hives in the spots that I want them. So this is London. Well, I think we'll call the one on the end London. We'll call that one London. We'll call this one um, Vilnius. I think my dad actually gave me that idea. So we'll call that Vilnius. So I'll get some spray paint and we'll uh, give that one a new, a new paint job on the side, call it Vilnius. So tonight, or tomorrow morning, when these bees are nowhere near as active, I'll kind of clean up all of these cinder blocks. I had these cinder blocks out because I moved what's London. We used to be under Vilnius, and that was all London. Um, when I made that split and got a new queen in London, um, I had to, I pulled that entrance out the one day that I accidentally dropped that and realized that it was really dumb of me to try and have such a tall stack there. So we moved it out and then I just moved it a little bit every day. I moved it about 10 or 12 inches every day over across those cinder blocks and finally got it back up into its position there. One morning I did it, I did it, I did the move most mornings, um, just as I was before I left for work. And one morning I did it without thinking much and I shook it a little bit more than I had anticipated. The front edge got caught on one of the cinder blocks and one of the darn bees stung me on the arm. Um, she, she came real quick and got me right on the forearm there. Um, right about that spot in the middle of the picture. My arm's still a little swollen from that, but nevertheless, finally have it moved. So, and yesterday in the wood shop, I made a new deep box, so I have to paint it, and then that may go on the top of Vienna here. Um, Vilnius, I'm just going to keep those medium boxes on top there, and I may put another honey super on top to try and capture some honey there. I might actually go and buy a few more medium boxes to try and get some more uh, honey this year. So thanks for coming along and uh, joining me. The, the apiary sure looks busy right now, doesn't it? It's raining a little bit at the moment, which probably has these bees a little more agitated than normal. But I love seeing all this activity. Hi everyone. Hey, thanks for coming along and joining us on this uh, beautiful 1st of June 2024. Finally, I have all my hives in the right place where I want them. The five permanent hives plus the one pro nuke box that we're trying to make a queen out of. So I've just been kind of getting everything out here ready. Uh, today, I'm going to go into probably each one of these hives. I want to put a pollen patty in each one to help feed the bees. And um, we will also check to see if there's a queen cell or a, possibly a queen in the pro nuke box. And I may just add a box on top of Vienna if Vienna looks like they've um, built that out nicely. So thanks for coming along, everyone. I'm getting a lot of bees here on the backside of uh, Vilnius. And Vilnius is our hive here. We've got Vienna, the Pro Nuke box, which I haven't named because that's not a permanent one. Vilnius. We've got Berlin. We've got London is down on the end here now. And we've got La Paz that is over off to the side. So thanks for coming along. All right, guys, we've got our smoker lit a little bit. We're going to first, we're just going to go down the row, I think, and we'll see. I might, may actually put my gloves on here in a minute because I, uh, I, I'm afraid that these guys are getting a little protective of their honey stores, which I can't blame them a bit, but we'll, we'll go into Vienna here, see how these girls are doing. I did top up their sugar water the other day, which worked out nicely. Let's 
see how much sugar water is in there. Oh, quite a bit still. It's about half full. So this is a two-gallon feeder. So that means that they have uh, about one gallon left. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to do a little, little quick inspection in here. Okay, first glance, looks like we've got quite a few bees. They have not done anything on the ends. There's about four frames that don't look like they've done anything to. So, what I may do is actually, I've got some frames that I've uh, put some fresh wax coating on. What I may do is change those out to give them a better... Uh, something to eat off of here so let's move that over they've still got plenty of yeah we'll, we'll change that one out for sure now I'm gonna have to move these to there we'll put this as a waxed frame shake those girls off of there we'll put another wax frame in there well that's not good I heard a little thunder I hope it doesn't turn nasty weather on me let's have a look and see if they've started building out oh yeah I think they're starting to build out this frame yep they're building out this frame nicely. So we'll keep that one there. We'll give them a couple more ready waxed frames. For them and down at this end, I'm not impressed with what I see here. Absolutely nothing on there. So maybe they're, oh yeah, they're building out that plastic frame. So we'll just put another wooden one in there to help them out. Oh, just got bopped on the head by one. So They've still got plenty of uh, pollen patty here. So we won't put an extra box on. We'll just put the uh, feeder back on. Hopefully without spilling any. Ooh, I hope I didn't put that palm patty right dead center, did I? Well, if I did, they'll have to eat through it. It's not dead center. All right. So Vienna's looking decent. It's being built up. So we're not going to expand it yet. We'll give that a chance to continue. Continue growing. Okay. Thank you, girls. Now, is my smoker still lit? I'm not actually sure about that. We may have to go. Oh, no. It's going. All right. 
So with London, or I'm sorry, with, uh, I've got to get used to calling that one Vilnius now. With Vilnius, I've got a new bottom board. You can see that that bottom board is plywood that's unpainted. So when I get over to that, I've got a new bottom board to put in there. Actually, I need to go grab it. Oh man, the, this darn weather. This is going to be uh, a little bit of a pain. I may have to uh, pause this. We'll go into the Pro Nuke box first, just to kind of see what's going on inside there. I'd like to see if there's a queen or any evidence of a queen. Make sure any bees that were left on these frames can get back into their hive. These girls seem nice and calm. Oh, do tell. Are we lucky enough to have a queen in there or a queen cup, queen cell? Got some honey. Well, yeah, got, got some honey and some nectar. We have very little of anything on that frame. Looks like pollen and nectar. You know what? That's brood. Now, was that brood that was left over from before? Looking hard for the queen, because I would anticipate that there's a queen in here. She might not be on that frame. She might actually be on this one. I don't see any eggs here. But as calm as these girls are in there, that tells me that there's a good chance that we've got a laying queen. So, the fact that I didn't see one is not great, but I'm not going to give up on them yet. We'll see if they've got one. I really can't believe how calm they are on that. I probably need to feed them as well. But they need some sugar water as opposed to anything else. All right. So now we're going to get into Vilnius. And I'm going to grab a new bottom board for Vilnius. Sorry, folks, I forgot to turn the camera on before I started digging into uh, Vilnius here. This, is, of course, is the one that I dropped the other day. Looked like that 
very top super had started to get some um, some honey built uh, or some uh, nectar put into the center frame, but most of the other frames were empty. So it's doing okay. But now what we're going to do is I'm going to smoke this one down good because I want to change out this bottom board, which means moving this box okay so this bottom board is out and this one is in we'll put that back there in a little bit Get rid of those, the wood chips that were left over. So, Now, let's put some food on there for them. There you go, girls. Enjoy that. Yeah. Be a little help there. was a heavy super but I know that there's brood in there on that as well oh man starting to be raindrops I'm getting this closed up just in time because we don't want wet bees. It is not a way for them to stay healthy. Okay. I think I'm doing good. What I may do, this is the old bottom board. So I'm going to set that here so they can just climb up back into their home. And now I need to start getting some stuff out of the rain because it's raining guys Hopefully we'll uh, do a little bit more, but if not, it'll be on the next week's video Well, hi friends Boy did I just barely miss all of this coming down I had uh, I had gone into Vienna the pro nuke box Vilnius and boy, just as I was about to start closing up Vilnius, the skies opened up and man, it's coming down at quite the angle. I don't know if you can see that on the video or not, but yeah, just in time, huh? I'd rather be lucky than good, I guess. So this is kind of my uh, work area for all my bee stuff, plus a few other bits and pieces that I need to do. But uh, yeah, I've got some... Uh, fresh um freshly waxed hives uh or frames i should say freshly waxed frames ready to put into some of these boxes i'm i'm really excited about getting into la paz because uh there's a good chance that i might actually have some honey that's ready to harvest and my uh honey stock is very very low at the moment so um we uh we will fill you guys in as i get more done
Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Adrian has bees. All right. I think I want to do London first because that'll be quick, I hope. And it shouldn't take too long. Make sure I'm all zipped up here. Very disruptive having the rainstorm come through partway through this. Wow, from what I can see here, it looks like they're doing quite well on some of this. The uh, drone brood, that was probably silly of me to put this drone brood up on the very top. That really should be down below. Let's kind of separate this out and see what we actually can get. Ooh, there's water. No, that's sugar water. Okay. <coughs> okay, smoker. Getting working a little too well right now. Oh, they're filling this up with uh, nectar. I'm not sure I want to mess with that then. We'll let them continue with the nectar on that. Okay, you know, this is a queen that we haven't actually found yet. I should probably, before this hive gets much bigger, should probably work on finding this queen. And I think I need a better uh, top cover as well. Oh my goodness. Oh, some of that honey is falling out of there. Have a look at all that. Okay. Now that one's out of the way. I should be able to get the others out without destroying too much of their work. <laughs> Lots of honey, nectar, nectar. I actually should clean off this side too.
Nice brood pattern. Really nice brood pattern. Looking for the queen. If I see her, I'm going to try and mark her. See her. <laughs> Some really shallow cells that they've got. built out there but the queen has laid eggs in there trying to see if I can find the queen wow that's a great brood pattern I'm really happy with this queen and this is a daughter of my what was London, which is now Vilnius. So that is just a fantastic brood pattern there. Very few skipped cells. Every now and then they might have a cell that they don't choose to let the egg try and develop. If it's uh, if they sense that there's something wrong with it. We have a good brood pattern here. Some drone comb. Looking for my queen. Oh, is that my? No, that's a drone. I think. Yeah, that's a drone. Drones are, uh, can appear similar to a queen because they're large. Oh, there's more brood here. Oh, surprisingly, right up towards the edge. Oh, there's another drone. Looking for my queen. I know, and it's bothering you girls. Wow, another example of really nice brood pattern. Just have one walk over my finger. Please don't sting me. Yeah, well, the queen is in here. She's doing some good egg laying. I've not been able to find her myself yet, though. No, nope, there's more brood here. Yeah, they're ready to move into that next box, so won't be. Well, what I may do is put one of these others, brand new bees, very pale looking. Has not seen the light of day until I pulled this out. Several pale looking bees. Is that a queen? Oh no, that's another, that's another drone. Okay, now what I think I'll do is I'm going to replace one of these. Let's replace one back here. Okay, then we can put this right here. We'll continue to try and find our queen. Gosh, more brood, yeah. By uh, moving that frame up into the top box, it's going to encourage the nurse bees to go up there. And that will, in turn, get some more brood going up there. Okay. So, okay, Josh, I hear you. I understand. You're getting frisky. Okay. Okay. Let me go back 
mama. Sorry, could we all over disruption, girls? Let's put a pollen patty in there so you got some good food. Pardon me. Now. Well, I didn't see the queen, but man, she has a great laying pattern in uh, London. So happy with that. So she's my 2024. Vienna's my 2024 queen. Um, Vilnius is 2023 queen. And so is Berlin and La Paz. Those three are both all 2023. I should probably mark those so I don't have to remember. But this video will serve as a reminder. So, very good. Need to get a better telescoping lid or something on top of uh, London there. So I'm not happy with that. Okay, next up. Let's do La Paz. <clears throat> yep, I'm coming in, girls. See lots of uh, honeycomb. Well, I keep getting buzzed too. These girls just don't are not okay with me being in here. This is one of the queens that I want to change the genetics on. This is one of the reasons why, because it's very difficult getting into these hives when they are like this. They are starting to cap over. So that's quite good. I am happy with that. I don't know that I need to get into it anymore because I was just hoping to get some uh, honey out of it. It appears that is not going to be possible at this juncture. Oh, maybe next week. Okay. You know what? I'm not disappointed. All the hives seem to be doing well. I'm just going to take my drill. I'm going to drill some holes in the back of these bottom boards. Um, this is for a mite treatment. I've got a vaporizer now that I just need that small hole. I've actually done it on Vienna and Vilnius already. But I'm going to drill some holes in the back of these so that we can uh, give them the vapor when, uh, when it's time. So thanks for coming along, everybody. It's not a bad way to start out June, and I'm hoping that within a week or two, we'll be able to harvest some of this honey and hopefully find our new queen in that pro nuke box.
Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.